What it do, homies? It's your boy, Dave, and I'm back today. We out here with a Patreon request. It's time we're checking out Brad's Rowdy extended version. And it's at round four if he made it to the semifinals. So let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. Just casually in his kitchen, cooking it up. on his pluck game today. Whoa. Okay, layering, counter, counter melodies. Sequencing, okay. Add in some sound effects. Whoosh. Reverse. Whoosh. Layered snare. Okay. FX that Foley sounds. That's what this is. That's what makes a good drone. Foley sounds. The punches. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This man dangerous. Brez is dangerous. Just just layering in the drums. Okay. At first I was gonna make a comment about the 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 extra punchiness and why the kick was so short, right? But this is where the importance of layering comes in. Sometimes when it comes to beatboxing, right? When we when we're in our digital audio workstation and we're, and we're producing and everything and we're doing some drum programming, it's easy to kind of shape some of those transients to make a drum kind of kick out kind of kind of come through and kick and everything and then if it's got too much high end or it's got too much low end you could just simply go in and eq it to perfection right but what brez has done here is that he added the punch and he made it super short so where it's only affecting a certain amount of frequencies and then he came in and added the low end right so this is similar to to just drum processing right but he's doing it all by the mouth that was what he just did right there so now we got the punch and we got the low end okay i i just Dude, I just I just wanted to point that out because I wasn't expecting that low end to come in. Okay. With like a oscillating bass. LFOs, a plot. That's a lot of reverb. Hey. Hey. Okay. Here come some bars. Okay, I kick hard, I keep shit, but right now I kill this. I drop heavy beats. Yes, I make beats, I make hits, I make people dance, make people move. I do this by the show, so I don't need to be approved. Hey. Get it to the ground, make that ass shake, whoa Had the GBP, well I'm a love, hey, yeah I'm just trying to put you in a fun state, whoa Get up on stage just to celebrate, I It's a modulation right here Whoa delay drops okay there's that super saw coming in That blood rave uh, synth right there from uh, the, from the movie Blade at the beginning. Yeah, 
there's that sound layer in again. Masterful. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Yeah, dude's layering is absolutely fantastic, man. What else can we expect? Nothing but Mac, nothing but nothing, nothing but good stuff from Brez. Now, there was only one, it wasn't necessarily a mess up. Um, but as he was creating a rise, I think he um he was just maybe a slightly fraction off from timing that rise with the uh with the drop because the kick sound like it came in just a hair too soon, just a hair too soon. But that's that's small stuff. Brez absolutely killed this as usual. The sound design. I'm always impressed whenever I'm hearing loop stationers combine these stuff into layering. And I think Brez did a very, very good job here. We could learn something from that. You know what I mean? Sometimes, honestly, man, when I'm looking at people do loop stations and I'm sitting here and I'm struggling, you know, making beats and everything in my uh, in, in Fruity Loop Studios, um, I should be like, man, I can beatbox what I want it to sound like. Maybe, maybe I should buy me a loop station, just learn it for the sake of it. If I end up doing that, this channel is probably going to turn into a beatbox only type of channel because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be hooked. And I'm going to want to show you guys and it's going to all, it's going to consume me, but I, I just might, I just might do it. <laughs> all right, y'all. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.